and this is no shade. K-9 is a motherfucking idiot. And I love him. And I'm going to talk about him like a brother will talk about their little brother. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. Got warrants because... Let me, and let me tell you something. And let me tell you something. And let me tell you something. I, Jarrell Raymond, will never doubt anything that God Zeus says when it comes to these fucking people on Beagle. Bitch, do you know that he's had Yetta at his crib? And do you know that the reason why he got arrested was because he had a bench warrant as it pertains to Yetta? And then Yetta is on live showing pictures. Yo, I'm telling y'all on some real shit. My motherfucking um, help and my love for people, on, you only get one time. One time. There is motherfucking so many young men and women out here that would love for Robert and I to be older brothers to them. You know, you know, look out for them. Bitch, I've tried to do it with Greedy. I've tried to do it with K-9. On to the next. On to the fucking next. Bitch. And I don't give a fuck who records me because me and K-9 can lie and I will eat him the fuck up. Let me, she took care of it. I don't give a fuck. I want nothing to do with him. And I love that young man. I want nothing to fucking do with him. Me and Robert told him to stay the fuck away from this girl. Stay the fuck away from this girl. And then K-9's up here with this beautiful new girl making songs about her and all this shit. And you over there fucking with the ops. You over there fucking with Yetta. You fucking 22 years old. You got four to five children. Your children should come first. This bitch is a liability. And then she's sitting on fucking lies, gloating about how you should have been better to her and stuff like that. Yada, you a fucking bird. Yada, you are a fucking bird. And he is a bird catcher. Y'all can have each other. Y'all can have each other. We, me and Zeus have sat and poured into this young man. And you going to sit and turn around and fucking jeopardize your shit. You going to jeopardize your shit for the bitch who put you in a situation in the first place. Y'all can have each other. Y'all can have each other. I don't give a fuck. K-9, you are a fucking idiot. You're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. And I told you. And I told you. I said, K-9, I'm telling you, that girl means nothing but harm to you. Bitch, I had to fucking stay asleep because I watched the clip where he got pulled over. And you could see the tears and the fear. You could see the you could see the fear in his eyes. You understand what I'm saying? Imagine you living your best life. You're living everything on the up and up. And you know what the funny thing is about Yetta? Yetta is a nasty fucking bitch. She could have threw that case out. Yetta is a nasty fucking bitch. And I'm telling all the mothers, all the fathers, all the sisters, all the brothers. If any of your fucking male figures in your family is dealing with Robin Brown, they dealing with Robin, you better fucking protect them. You better fucking protect them. Yetta is fucking trash. The, the, it does, no, the state would have not picked it up. The state would not have picked it up. It was on some regular schmegler. It wasn't on no deep shit. It wasn't on no um nature boy shit. It wasn't on no abuse type of shit. She she could have threw that shit out. She could have threw that shit out just on the strength that they still was communicating. No. No, we are not going to make an excuse for her. We are not going to make an excuse for him. That's right. That's right, Llama. And Llama, you been there. Llama, you been there. You been there. You been there. Fuck K-9. You had two motherfucking niggas that were like brothers to you. And you sat and you played in our face. And K-9, you could have told me you were still dealing with her. So I could have told you how to deal with her. I, bitch, I was married to a bitch like Yetta. I would have told you. Let me tell you something. And that bitch, and Yetta, you are a bitch. You are the epitome of a clout chaser. You did that just to hurt that boy. Yetta, let me tell you something about karma. Karma gonna hit your ass so hard, you gonna gag. I want, I don't give a fuck. Listen, I, I don't want it. I'm not, listen, I'm not about to bash K-9. I'm not about to dog him. I wish him the best. He will not get a bean from me. He will not get brother this. Because it, it would have been different if they was just dealing. Nigga, you got locked up last night and had a good woman. 
a good woman. And you know what, K-9? You know what, K-9? You are just as bad as greedy. You're just as bad as greedy. You're just as bad as greedy. You, oh, I got to lower my voice. My, um, my motherfucking roommate sleep. Sorry, y'all. You are just as bad as greedy. You are just as bad as greedy. You all have a relentless group of women who support y'all. They uplift y'all. They pour into y'all and y'all play in their faces. When these women hurt y'all, y'all women supporters be the first one there to wipe y'all tears, to listen to y'all, to offer you shoulders to lean on, and y'all play in their face. Y'all play in their face. I have nothing for you. I have nothing for you. You got locked up last night. I was literally wrecking my brain like, okay, let me see. And then once I found out why you got locked up, thank you, Lama. Thank you, brother. Once I found out why you got locked up, I was like, okay. But then, but then K-9, but then K-9, you have this fucking woman in your house. You deserve each other. You deserve each other, K-9. We was rooting for you. Thank you, Shaq. Everybody that's interim with these 1,000 bean gifts, I'm just being, I just want to, you know, be honest with y'all. If you send another 1,000 bean gifts, Shaq and Lama, you get in, you get three tickets into the raffle. I, Jarrell Raymond, born by way of Veronica Tarver and Raymond Clark. When Zeus tells me something about y'all, I am going to listen. And I'm not going to hesitate to listen to him because y'all are fucking Y'all are lost causes. Y'all are lost fucking causes. And you know what's so funny? I'm not even going to cap. My motherfucking heart is broken about this situation because Zeus and I have sat. We have chit-chatted. We talk, we talk about K-9 like two brothers seeing their little brother change their life, getting their shit together. And you going to fucking turn around, nigga, and you going to play not in just our faces. You going to play in the faces of the women who have been there for you. You deserve each other. You deserve each other. You deserve each other. And you will no longer get any support from me. The support that I give to you spiritually, mentally, emotionally, I will give it to another young man. And if that young man fucks up, I will give it to another young man, another young man, another young man. K-9, you don't listen. You don't fucking listen. You so fucking desperate to be loved on when the most important fucking love that you need to worry about is the love for yourself. And then when you want to share that love that you have from yourself with anybody else, you give it to your children first. <clears throat> this lady has caused you nothing but embarrassment. Bitch, you have one thing. You have one thing. So many beautiful things have come out, come out of this K9. And this is how you this is how you were paid. Not even just me. You're grown. Do what you want to do. But you fucking disrespected your followers. You disrespected your followers. And you disrespected that young lady that was so excited to come into your life and be a better woman than Yetta was to you. And you motherfucking got Yetta all over at your house. Have each other. Have each other. And one thing I'm never going to be embarrassed about is saying that I was wrong. I was wrong about you. I was wrong about Dre, baby. I was wrong about a lot of y'all. But guess what? Shame on... Bitch, first time shame on them. Second time shame on me, bitch. Won't be a third. Because anything that happens more than three times is a behavior. I will no longer... Do you understand? I will put my focus on helping people that are being mistreated by their agency owners... The women on this app that are wonderful, the men on this app that are wonderful, and that want to reciprocate love. I have nothing for you. Nothing for you. Nothing for you. It's a Thursday night. You're driving around Las Vegas living your best life, and you get pulled, and you get locked up because of some shit that that bitch caused. You are a lost cause. You're a lost cause, and you and Yetta can have each other. Horrible. Horrible. Horrible, K-9. Horrible. Horrible how you how y'all sit up there and lie. And Yetta, you are, y'all are, mm. I ain't gonna say nothing bad about the boy, because he's young and he dumb. But Yetta, you're everything I knew you was. You're a green-eyed green bandit bitch.
You are great and you're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're pathetic, Yetta. You're pathetic. You know why? Because you could not take that the boy fell on his ass and got back up and got his shit together, Yetta. And bitch, even if you did go over there to reconcile, for you to get up on B gonna say, well, that's your fault. You should have been better than me. What? Yetta, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. And if k was my brother and I was his sister, bitch, I would fly to fucking Las Vegas and I would whoop your ass. I would whoop you, bitch. Let me tell you something about me and Robert. Me and Robert got so many women and niggas on our team, bitch. I would whoop your ass. If k was my brother, bitch, and I was his sister, I would be on the first motherfucking frontier flight to Las Vegas and I would whoop your ass. You knew exactly what you were doing. You are the prime example of that movie with motherfucking um, Tyler Perry. Girl, what the fuck is in There's so many movies, girl. You are the devil. You are the devil. You are the... She... Yep. And K-9, let me tell you something. I will never doubt my girlfriend. Ever. This has been a week of just realities. And you know what the funny thing is, K-9? Everybody was rooting for you. Everybody. Even people that didn't like you was rooting for you. You just a sorry ass nigga. You a sorry ass nigga. You fucking found your voice. You found your freedom. You found your independence. And you risked it. For a bad body, Dr. Robotnik, egg-shaped heifer. That was funny, bitch. You know we don't do lying, bitch. He lied to us so bad, Robert. And let me tell you something that I learned from Zeus, bitch. Shame it once, but not shame it twice. Lied. Lied. And you want to know what's so funny about Robert and I? Robert and I... We tell each other truths that we don't want to hear, but that we need to hear. You understand what I'm saying? k I could have told us like brothers, I, I did some stupid shit. I've been laying up with the other. We would have said, look it. You need to watch your back. But see, can I get some beans? You want to know what the worst part about this is? You want to know what the worst part about this is? Do you want to know the worst part about this is? She embarrassed you not once, twice. By the hands of the police. She embarrassed you twice. You came back home. You showed your mama a good time. You went up in that room, was playing the PlayStation, and you hear a knock at the door, and it's the police to escort your ass out. Picture it, a month later, you're riding down the streets of Las Vegas, and you get pulled over, and the police tell you that the reason why they taking your ass in is because your ass missed motherfucking court because of some shit that got to do with the other. Nigga, you ain't never gonna learn. And you know why I'm speaking like this? Because my good girlfriend, her husband put us through, bitch, the bitch, she traumatized me on my birthday, all kind of shit. It, it ain't just Yetta that's toxic, baby. I'm never gonna have no issue with just Yetta. Anybody that know Yetta's track record that deal with her from this point, you can have her. You're both toxic. You're toxic. And I promise you, K-9, you ain't greedy. You ain't greedy. You ain't greedy. Because let me tell you something about greedy. Greedy going to leave them girls alone as it pertains to his women that follow him. You done lost you some women followers, and I promise you that. I promise you. The women have sat up with you in that hotel, spoken to you, prayed for you. You done lost you some followers. I promise you. Promise you. Promise you. And you and Yetta, y'all are the worst type of toxic relationship. You waste money. 
your waste money. You done went and got you a condo. You done went and paid all this rent. You done went and got all these cars just to end up back dealing with that bitch. Y'all are a waste of money. Y'all are both liabilities. And let me tell you something. Ain't nobody going to want you. And whoever do want you, they stupid. And I don't give a fuck who show you this clip. You lost something more valuable than anything as it pertains to Beagle. You had God Zeus on your team, bitch. You had God Zeus on your team. When that bitch put you out with nowhere to go, Zeus was the one that cashed out your ass so you can pay to stay in the hotel. And that's all you had to do was be honest. And you lied. And you lied. And let me tell you something, brother. You just gave your blessings away to somebody else. You will never, you will never. One thing I don't play with is liars. I don't play with liars. You know why? Because you're offered the lie. You're offered the lie. You're offered the lie. And you did it and you got caught on Bego. And you got caught on Bego. People that supported Robert started coming into the room. Because we, they seen that, oh, people was like, y'all being so good to that young man. He's so blessed. And this is what you do. Just so you could put a hickey on the neck. And then, and then the bitch was in your house taking pictures. Yetta, girl, you think you won something? You ain't won shit. You're still a miserable, green-eyed, egg-shaped, Easter-hunting-looking bitch who's sitting up in a five-bedroom with witchcraft and all kind of bullshit. You're miserable. You're miserable. And any nigga that I see try to talk to you, I'm going to say, bro, don't do it. You're miserable. You a nasty bitch. Evil. And your dumb ass K9 Keith, I'm going to call you Keith. Because that's what I got you on my phone. You stupid ass. Now you're going to be the laughing stock of Beagle once again. You were sitting up here doing good for yourself and you lost it for old pussy. For old pussy. Old used up pussy. And yet a bitch, I want you to get on and say some shit, bitch. I'm ready for you. You're a nasty, miserable, green-eyed bitch. You're nasty, bitch. You're nasty. And bitches like you, they end up in motherfucking, they end up in big, big metal pots. Cooked, seasoned, and marinated. You're evil. You're e and you know what you was doing, bitch. You knew what you was doing, bitch. I can't stand old raggedy bitches like you. You knew what you was doing. You manipulated that young man. You knew he was lonely. You knew he didn't want to be in that house by himself. You're nasty. You're nasty. Yeah, she ain't got no good walk. She ain't got no good walk. She ain't got no good walk. K9 don't know his worth. K9 don't know his worth, honey. K9 don't know his worth. Just like my best friend don't know his worth. Guess what I told my best friend? I said, oh, y'all back dealing? I, I see you at the funeral. And I'm not playing. If, my, if I get a call, my girlfriend got killed by his motherfucking ex-husband, what is the details of the funeral? What bouquet we put? I don't give a damn. Y'all are fucking ridiculous. Y'all, let me tell you something. They ain't no stronger. They ain't no strong enough love in this world for me to share my life with somebody who has hurt me the way that lady done hurt him. The way ain't no ain't enough good pussy, ain't enough good dick. Hell no. Have each other. I want y'all bitches to skip down to McCormick's, whatever the fuck. Have each other. I don't want nothing to do with you. Nothing. I don't want to hear no big brother. I don't want to hear no nothing, bitch. I want nothing to do with you. Because you done fucked around. And I ain't even mad at you for lying. I'm mad because you lied. And you got locked up over that bitch. And, we, and, and, and Zeus, Zeus said, Stone, the only way this going to be all right. And I said, I said, Zeus, I don't think he need to do that. You know, Zeus is like the, the daddy. I'm like the mammy. No, baby, he ain't, it's going to be all right. No, no, Sheila, he need to do this. No, baby, it's going to be all right, girl. If, I'm so glad me and this bitch don't bet nothing, because, girl, I be broke. I be broke. He says, Stone, she's a nasty woman. 
Stone, there's something about her. I'm telling you. And bitch, I promise you, I don't know if it's cancer intuition. But I ain't got no, I ain't, I ain't gonna, bitch, the only time I'm gonna argue with her is about the shit I know better than her. When the book flight, when the book hotel, when the big this, when the get restaurant reservation. But when it comes to this motherfucking thing we call Bigo, he is the motherfucking goat and the all of be all. I ain't, I, if he say strong, I, yep, I'm gonna do it. Kick up, yep. Mute kick, yep. Don't, yep. Yep. He fucking called this. When they went to court, he said, Stone, no. He needs to cut her off. He need to get off that leash. She is nasty. The bitch bought her green eye ass on Bigo, showing pictures and talking about, ha ha, that's what he get for doing me so wrong. I'm telling you right now. That game that Yetta played, at a space table, we would have stomped her ass out. She's a nasty bitch. She's a nasty... What's up, Ma? That's a nasty nigga woman. That's definitely her white side. That's definitely her white side. I love whites, peoples. I love y'all. But I'm telling you right now, that's her white side. That's some trailer park shit. That's some trailer park... Tammy Lynn, I'ma get my sister brother man. Bitch, that is some that is some trash shit. And I love white peoples. I ain't got I'm just, you know, trailer park is the niggas of the whites. You know what I'm saying? That is some trailer park shit. 